What's up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, and today I'm not just coming to you guys as a music artist, as a professional musician. I'm not coming to you as a photographer, as a videographer. I'm coming to you as a human being. And this live stream is not just about myself. Um, this video is actually going to be me as a person and an artist standing up for, you know, me and others like me. That labels and people in general have discriminated against for no reason. Now, if you guys don't know or why it is that I'm not assigned to a label, um, it's actually because of the fact that I was discrim that I've been discriminated against my entire music career. You know, everybody from labels to venues to other artists, bands, discriminating against me. Because if you guys don't know how I, how all this came about was, um, if you guys don't know, my mentor, Possessed One, he's the one that's been helping me out the entire time. Like, he's been, you know, helping me get gigs around here and stuff when I were at least trying to. Well, he was out promoting my music the one day at this one nightclub, right? Cause you know, he had a show there. So he figured, you know, he would send them some less, you know, some of my music. Cause he knew that they would latch onto it. They would really enjoy it. And so, you know, he passed it around and stuff. And the club owner just happened to have a label manager and owner there. So, you know, the manager of the club hooked him up with these guys. They sat down, started talking. And, you know, Zach had handed them, like, they, he had them listen to, they went to a private room, and he had them check some of my stuff out. Well, they call, he calls me up and says, hey, you know, because, like, I can hear him talking as I'm answering. He's like, yo, I got somebody that I want you guys to meet. That's the artist behind all this music. So, you know, he calls me up, and as he's calling me, I can, I answer it, and I hear him saying that. Well, I answer it, you know, like, hey, what's up? And this is not, this is all on video chat, mind you. He had me video chat with these guys. But, you know, we sat there, we talked, and they're like, yo, like, we like your music, and blah, 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 blah. But what was said next was beyond fucked up. They sat right there to my face and said that even though they like my music, they will not sign me. And they will make sure that I do not get signed because they don't like my physical appearance and they don't think I would make it because of my physical appearances. Live to my face on FaceTime, on video call. These people had the indecency to tell me to my face that they would do whatever it takes to make sure I don't make it because they don't like how I look. They don't like my physical appearance. And what did they do? They basically told every fucking venue in Akron that I am not to be allowed to perform. They started making up all these fucked up lies, you know, saying that I did this, saying that I did that. And, you know, I've been battling this for many years. I've been battling this discrimination for many years. You know, I know why you guys discriminated against me. It's because you guys know damn well 
I got the ability to change up the music industry for good and to take it back to where it should be, which is you don't make artists pay to sign to your labels. You pay your artists and you treat them right and you give them full credit for their work. You don't take their work. You don't turn them into people they don't want to be turned into. I think I speak for all artists like myself when I say enough is enough. We've had enough of this shit. And honestly, I've not only had enough of being discriminated against by every fucking record label in the world, but I've had enough of artists and venues discriminating against me just because I look different. My looks shouldn't mean a goddamn thing. What should mean a goddamn thing and what should really mean everything in the world is my music, not what I fucking look like. Because looks change. People change over time. Looks change over time. But wasn't what does not change is the fact that you guys know that I can change the entire music scene with the drop of a fucking hat. And I know you guys are going to do whatever you fucking can to stop me from doing that. So you guys want somebody to blame for me not getting anywhere? Blame motherfuckers like all these labels out there running their mouths about me. Blame people like Reborn Records, which recently shut down their channel. Blame people like Christian Lee, a.k.a. Cousin Kit, who fucked me over. Blame people that discriminate against me. Because they're the reason that I'm not signed to a label. And quite honestly, it sickens me. It sickens me to the point of no end. Because of these labels and these venues discriminating against me and tearing me down and not giving me a fair chance. It's very hard for me to get anywhere. It really is hard. Because you guys have no idea how bad I want to make it in music, not just for myself, not just for my family, but for every person that has special needs out there and people who look different like myself. I want to make it in music so bad for these people. But it's hard when no label is willing to give you a fair chance. I've been battling this shit for practically my entire time of doing music. I have some of the best music that the world's ever seen and heard. And yet, what do I have to show for it? Being discriminated against, being torn down, being rejected by every fucking label just because of my physical appearance? Let me tell you something. Here's a little quote from a song by Machine Gun Kelly. I can give a fuck about appearance as long as they can hear us. Which means fuck appearances. As long as you can hear the music, that's what matters. Fuck how somebody looks. I'm tired of being belittled. I'm tired of being discriminated against. And you people of the mainstream wonder why I take aim at you all the fucking time. It's not just, it's not to get fame. It's not to make a name off of belittling and bashing on you guys. The reason I do it is to defend myself and to stand up for those that are like me. Who look different from the norm. You think what you guys do is fair to me or anybody like me? It's not. Because like I said, 
Music shouldn't be about appearance or image or looks. It should be about the music. Since when did music become about the image and not about the music? I don't get it. So what if I look different? That doesn't give you the fucking right to discriminate or judge somebody based on their appearance. Fuck appearances. Appearances change all the fucking time. And you guys know that. You guys know that as well as I do. Because like me, you guys are human. We bleed the same blood at the end of the fucking day. At the end of the day, we all bleed red. We all have a fucking heart at the end of the day. But yeah, what do you do? You steal from people like me. You discriminate against people like me. For what reason? Why are you so embarrassed by people like me? I don't get it. Why are you so fucking embarrassed? Yeah, I've made somewhat of a name for myself. But just because I made a bit of a name for myself, that doesn't give you the right to bash on me. And that doesn't give you the right to judge me. The only right that you have is to judge my music. Because like I said, if you give me the fucking chance, I can show you guys what I can do. I have birthed a whole new genre of fucking dubstep, and yet you guys won't even take a fucking chance and listen to it. Yet I have hundreds of motherfuckers out there every fucking day listening to my music who love it and enjoy it. Even though they can't afford to buy it or pay, you know, for my music, I let them listen to it for free. Because I know what it's like to be poor. Yeah, I might have, you know, something like this, like a super expensive camera. And, you know, an Xbox One. But like I said, those were Christmas gifts. I did not buy those. Those were Christmas gifts from my family to me. They were gifts. I did not ask for them at all. My family went out of their way and bought them for me. They didn't have to, but they did. I'm sick of the discrimination. I have fought way too hard since the day I was born. I have fought my entire fucking life. And every day, I still continue to fight for my fucking life. I am one of the hardest working people and music artists you can ever fucking come across. Because while all your other fucking artists are in bed sleeping at night, I am up busting my ass, coming up with new ways and new ideas to better my fucking music, to make it a hundred times better than what it was before. I'm constantly pushing for that next level. While your artists are off on vacation and, you know, getting drunk and high and stoned and fucked up out of their mind, I'm in the studio every fucking day writing, recording, creating. Every fucking day. I have, I have been eating, sleeping, and breathing the fucking music that I do since 2010. While your artists are going on four or five hours of sleep, I'm pushing one to two hours of sleep and four to five cups of coffee, busting my ass day and fucking night. I put in more hard work than any fucking artist out there. And my, my work, you can look at my work. It speaks for itself. I've been compared to major artists like Skrillex. I've been compared to some of my most favorite people like Lindsey Sterling. I've even been compared to people 
and bands like Nightcore. I've been told that with the right label pushing me, I could very well be the next Skrillex. I could be that huge if one of y'all would fucking shut the fuck up. Stop discriminating against me and give me that fucking chance that I deserve. That you guys know I fucking deserve. You guys don't know how fucking hard I have worked to get to where I'm at. I've gone countless hours without sleep. I have fought and clawed my way to where I'm at now. And for you guys to discriminate against me, that's not right. And you know it. I'm sick of being discriminated against. Like I said, while your pitiful bullshit wannabe artists fucking sleep day in and day out, not doing a damn thing, I'm here in the fucking studio pushing myself to the next level, constantly busting my ass, creating, writing, recording, coming up with new ideas, coming up with shit that half your fucking artists can't even think about doing. In their entire fucking life. Every fucking day and night. I work hard. I eat. I sleep. I breathe music. Every fucking day. Every fucking night. I bust my ass. You can ask any motherfucker that knows me. That knows my music. And knows what I've been through. I work harder than any fucking artist out there. And yet what do I get? I get discriminated against because of my physical appearance, which is fucked up. It should not be about the physical appearance. It should be about the music. Because like I said before, and Machine Gun Kelly said it himself in one of his songs, I can give a fuck about appearance as long as they can hear us. Which means fuck how somebody looks. If you take a listen to their music and stop judging for five fucking seconds, maybe you guys will realize that I can help, that I can do something that no other artist can fucking pull off. Because like I said, I've birthed a whole new genre of music that the world loves, that a lot of people love. And yet, you guys won't even give it a chance because you're too focused on physical appearance and image instead of the music. It's fucked up. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being discriminated against. The hatred, the discrimination against me and other artists like myself that look different from society, that look different than the norm. All that bullshit you're doing needs to fucking stop. It's stupid, it's ridiculous, and it's fucked up. The discrimination against me and others like myself needs to stop. You labels out there and you venues that are judging me based on my appearance and not my music. That shit needs to stop. Because what you're doing is not fair, nor is it right. Because like I said, I work harder than any motherfucking artist on this goddamn planet. And I have the proof to back it up. Take a look at my music from when I first started back in 2010. On my original channel on Mystic Music. To what I'm doing now. I've come a long fucking way. A very long way.
and I'm gonna be damned. I'll be damned if I ever give up. Because I was yeah, I did want to quit because people were claiming my name and doing this and doing that. But you know something? You know what I realized? I realized something that I've got a mission. And my mission is to shut every last one of you motherfuckers down. Every last one of you that judges me, every last one of you that discriminates against me, stalking you guys and proving you motherfuckers wrong and making it in music one way or another. You need to stop what you're doing. You need to quit talking to people like that. Do you understand me? Yeah. Stop. You wonder why people have to get on you. I'm done. I'm done with the discrimination. It ends now.